On December 20, Croatian President Zoran Milanovic said Ukraine is not an ally of the European Union, EU. Ukraine is not an ally, but it is trying to become an ally. When they were presented as candidates for EU membership, it was very dangerous. Bosnia and Herzegovina had to wait a long time to apply for membership, said Croatian President Zoran Milanovic. Zoran Milanovic, conflict in Ukraine is inevitable. This is an American war, with American money, the Croatian president said. Milanovic also said that Croatia is being forced to hand over all its weapons. Gas for Ukraine. And who will protect us? America? The same way they protect Ukraine? I'm concerned about the military's readiness to fight in the worst-case crisis, Mr. Milanovic emphasized. Previously, Croatian lawmakers did not approve the country's proposal to join the EU program to train about 15,000 Ukrainian servicemen to fight against Russia. President Milanovic also objected to the training of Ukrainian soldiers on Croatian territory. He said that training Ukrainian soldiers in some EU countries would have dangerous consequences, warning that the program could make Zagreb a target of Russia. Russia is preparing to evaluate military activities. Ukraine warns of power outages in the new year. President Putin will chair a meeting to evaluate Russia's military activities. Ukrainian Prime Minister Shmyl warned of raids on energy facilities during Christmas and New Year. According to TASS, on December 20, local time, the Kremlin announced that Russian President Vladimir Putin was preparing chaired a meeting to review military activities in 2022. The meeting will be held at the National Defense Control Center on December 21. The focus of the meeting is to summarize the activities of the Union Armed Forces. State of Russia, as well as referring to the line of action in 2023, the Kremlin statement said. TASS sources said that Defense Minister Sergei Shigu will give a focus speech at the meeting. This speech will detail the progress of the special military operation, the number of weapons and military equipment to be delivered next year, the progress of military infrastructure construction, the results of the international activities of the Ministry of Defense and the regime of subsidies for soldiers. The meeting will be attended directly by district commanders and federal officials. In addition, 15,000 Russian military officials watched online. Ukraine warned of the risk of power outages on New Year's Eve. According to Guardian, on December 20, local time, Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Shmyl had warned of the risk of Russia continuing to attack energy facilities. Mr. Shmyl also expressed concern that people may have to spend Christmas and New Year without electricity. Repairs to the energy infrastructure are continuing, but the situation is still extremely difficult. Nuclear power plants and 10 thermal power plants are in operation, but the level of energy deficit is still quite large, Mr. Shmyl said. Also in his speech, Mr. Schmeil emphasized that it is impossible to make a forecast. Any indication of a stable power supply in the current state. Ask local authorities not to inflate expectations around Christmas and New Year. Ukraine received 10,000 more satellite internet devices from billionaire Elon Musk. According to Bloomberg, on December 20, Ukraine's digital transformation minister Mikhailo Fedorov announced an agreement to transfer 10,000 Starlink satellite internet receivers from SpaceX company. SpaceX and Mr. Elon Musk quickly responded to the situation and helped us, said Mr. Fedorov. The Ukrainian official said that Starlink allows the Ukrainian military to have a reliable information system. And strong, not afraid of the line of communication being cut because of the raids. Since the beginning of this special campaign, Ukraine has received about 22,000 Starlink satellite internet devices.